Hello everybody, and today we are going to be comparing the EOS 70D to the new Canon EOS 7D Mark II. The newly announced 7D Mark II has been stirring up a lot of interest in the photography market. So that is why today I am here to compare it to this EOS 70D, which is also a relatively new camera in the market. So I have been um, using the 70D as my main camera for quite a while now, almost a year I think. And I've also gotten a rather nice hands-on with the 7D Mark II at Canon Photo Marathon 2014 just a while ago. So I've tested out these two cameras and in terms of resolution, they both have APS-C size sensors with 20.2 megapixels, so that's the same amount of resolution. Um, in terms of the imaging processor, the EOS 70D uses a digit 5 plus processor, just one, whereas the new 70 Mark II uses dual digit 6 processors, so that's two newer processors. So the 70 Mark II obviously has a lot more pro uh, processing power than the 70D. Now in terms of low light performance, the 70 Mark II gives slightly less noisy images in JPEG. However, in uh, RAW, the difference in the actual um, amount of noise in high ISO images is negligible, if any. So I, I wasn't really doing any studio tests, I was just doing point and shooting tests with the 7D Mark II and I compared it to my 70D and also with a 5D Mark III. I couldn't really tell if the 7D Mark II's files were any much cleaner than the 70D's. However, um, low light performance is still way off compared to a full frame sensor. It's still no competition at all against a full frame body like the 5D Mark III. Now, the screen, the EOS 70D has a tiltable touchscreen, whereas the 7D Mark II has a fixed non-touchable screen. So, the EOS 7D Mark II also has the dual pixel CMOS AF system like the 70D, however, it does not have touchscreen operation. So it can be uh, quite a pain to set the focus points and operate the video autofocus on the 7D Mark II. I don't know why they left out at least put in a touchscreen, I understand um, it's hard to weather seal a tiltable screen, but at least put in a touchscreen so we can at least touch the focus points on the 7D Mark II when you're trying to set the focus in live view or in video mode. Now in terms of the um, burst mode, the continuous shooting mode, the 70D tops off at 7 FPS, whereas the 7D Mark II tops off at 10 FPS. That is 3 FPS more than the 70D and 2 FPS more than the original 7D. So 10 FPS, it's pretty much almost 1D region. The old 1Ds also had um, 10 FPS. The 1DX goes at 12 FPS, expandable to 14 FPS. So it's really, really close. As you can see, the 70 Mark II is really targeted at sports photographers. Um, same case with the AF. The 70D has a 19-point all-cross type AF system. However, it only works down to negative 0.5 EV. Whereas with the 7D Mark II, it has 65 AF points. That's four points more than the 5D Mark III, all across type, and it works down to negative three EV on par with the EOS 6D, which is really great. The AF system on the 7D Mark II is completely overhauled. It's definitely something to take a look at. So the buffer, now the buffer on these cameras on the 70D, if you're doing a full raw burst, that means not RAW plus JPEG, not JPEG only, just RAW. Um, I get about 13 RAW images before the buffer fills up, whereas on the 7D Mark II, I get about 30 RAW images before the buffer fills up. So as you can see, the 7D Mark II has a much larger buffer. Um, memory cards, the 70D only takes SD cards. The 70 Mark II has a dual card slot, which can take one SD card and one CF card. Again, really great thing. Um, the 70D does not have a headphone jack. The 70 Mark II also has a headphone jack now, like the 5D Mark III, which everybody has been waiting forever for. And also the 70 Mark II also gets a, a bunch of new video features. Um, for example, 
It now has dual pixel CMOS AF as well. The second camera to have that, sorry, the third camera to have that after the Cinema EOS series. So it has dual pixel CMOS AF just like the EOS 70D, except on the 70 Mark II, it actually has a variable focusing speed. So you can actually set the speed of which the dual pixel CMOS AF focuses at, which um, is missing on the 70D. 70D cannot do that. On the 70D, um, again, you have the dual pixel CMOS AF. You get to shoot at 1080p at a maximum frame rate of 30 fps um, you get 60 fps if you shoot at 720p however on the 70 mark ii you now have full hd 1080p at 60 fps so um, it's something quite simple that everyone's been wanting for quite a while so they finally put it in the 70 mark ii the 70 mark ii also has a built-in intervalometer which the 70d or any other kind of camera for that case does not have so that's new there and um What's extra on the 70D? The 70D has Wi-Fi capabilities, but does not have GPS. On the 70 Mark II, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it has GPS, so it's the other way around. The build quality of the 70D versus the 70 Mark II, 70D is um, a lightweight polycarbonate body, whereas the 70 Mark II is built for durability, so it sports a magnesium alloy body. It also has better weather sealing than the 70D, of course, it's meant to be a much more rugged camera. Now the viewfinder on the 70D, it is a 98% accuracy viewfinder. However, on the 70D Mark II, it is almost 100% accuracy viewfinder with much more advanced overlay options. You get this new Canon calls it what intelligent viewfinder I think so you get a bunch of overlays in the viewfinder you can toggle them on and off so you get a lot of information on your heads up display now the listed price for the 70D is $1199 US dollars for just the body whereas the 70 Mark II is $1799 that's $1799 for just the body only so that is a $600 difference between these two cameras so for $600 more um, for the 70 Mark II it offers slightly higher maximum ISO dual digit 6 processors 10 FPS burst 3 FPS more than the 70D dual card slots a hugely improved AF system, a larger buffer, 60p in full HD, a tougher build, and a better viewfinder. So that is what you get for 600 bucks more. So let me know if this actually justifies the price difference of 600 bucks. Which camera would you get if you get uh, if you were to choose between these two cameras? Now personally, I think the 70 Mark II is really not worth the upgrade for me, so I'll be sticking with the 70D because $600 for me doesn't really justify those um, otherwise rather minute improvements except for the AF which is a rather huge improvement. But as of overall, the improvements on the 70 Mark II are um, not exactly worth the upgrade for me yet. So that is it. Um, feel free to discuss about this topic down in the comment section below. If you have any, any questions, any comments, just let them rip. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.